In this video, I'm going to talk about the bootstrapping bug that is in SPSS, and I think it's only in version 25. And I'll note that you need the premium version of SPSS in order to have access to bootstrapping. So you might not have bootstrapping simply because you don't have access to the module. So if you're supposed to have access to the module, you will see bootstrapping on the window. So in this example here, you can see that there's a bootstrap button here. Now, I have bootstrap working in my computer. So if you can see this button, you should have access to bootstrapping and it should work for you. However, as I mentioned, there's a, a bug in version 25 and there is a fix pack that can be installed into SPSS that will fix the problem. And so basically it, it, this fix pack upgrades SPSS to version 25.0.0.1 from 25.0.0.0. So if you install this fix pack on your computer, and I'll put the URL in the description of this video so that you can actually see it rather than having to copy it over here. And I'll also note that there's a web page over here that gives you the instructions in terms of how to install this. It's not very difficult. It's actually quite simple. I'm not going to do it because I don't have the problem with bootstrapping on this computer, so I'm not going to install it. So that's the first thing. You can consider installing the fix pack. A problem, though, might be that you're using a computer on a network and you're not going to have access to install this sort of thing. So an alternative to installing the fix pack into SPSS is to actually use the syntax associated with the bootstrapping. So that's what I'll show you next. So for example, if you looked at the correlation between two variables and you wanted to estimate the bootstrapped confidence intervals, you would click on bootstrapping, and I've selected bootstrapping 2,000 replications, and the seed is the Marcin Twister seed. You don't have to choose that one, but that one might be a little bit better. And I've selected Bias Corrected Accelerated because it is known to be better than the percentile method. And I've got 95%. Now, if you click Continue and you click Paste, you should see all of this information in the syntax editor. And the bug in SPSS is that it doesn't actually produce this. So the solution, if you don't want to install the fix pack or you can't install it, is to simply have these commands above your correlation analysis and then it will execute the bootstrapping. And this is true even if you have the bootstrap bug in SPSS. At least I can say that that worked for me when I had the bug and I didn't have an upgraded version with the fix pack. So if I just highlight these commands and then run, it will produce the 2,000 replications. So here are the bootstrap results. I've got the bias corrected accelerated 95% confidence intervals, lower and upper bounds. So this worked. And this is how I solved the problem before I got the fix pack installed in my computer. Now the challenge is that SPSS uses slightly different syntax for some analyses. So this is going to work for the correlation, where it says input e equal ease and overall quality. These are my two variables. If you do a regression, however, it's slightly different syntax. So let me show you that. So let me do a multiple regression, analyze regression linear. And I've got three independent variables in my independent box and one dependent variable in a dependent list. And I've got bootstrap. This one is 1,000. I'm going to change it to 2,000. And I've set the seed to the Marcin Twister and bias corrected. Continue and then paste. And you'll see that it's changed a little bit. In particular, the level at which it says variables target. For the correlation, it said variables input equal ease and overall quality. And now it's changed to this. So you do have to be a bit careful about how you're going to use the bootstrapping syntax in order to execute the bootstrap results for your analysis. So I'm going to do two more. I'm going to do the independent sample t-test as well as the paired sample t-test and the between subjects ANOVA just to give you a flavor of how the syntax looks like for key analyses. And that should cover a lot of analyses that people want to do bootstrapping for. Now if you want to go further, you can consult the syntax guide in SPSS, that really large PDF file that exists that allows you to look at all the syntax and it'll give you all the options for bootstrapping. But I'm just going to do the core ones for you here. And I'm going to include all of these bootstrap syntax in the description of this video. So you don't have to write this out. 
if you do click paste and you have the bug, you're not going to get this bootstrapping syntax. That's part of the problem is that it doesn't actually integrate the actual commands into the analysis. So let me do the independent sample t-test. Look at a different data file. So analyze, compare means, independent sample t-test. And I've got accuracy, my dependent variable, and grouping 1, 2. And I click bootstrap. And these are my selections for the bootstrapping. Click continue, and then paste, and then I get the syntax, and in this case here, it does look similar to the multiple regression. Variables target equal accuracy, input equal group. Everything else looks the same as the multiple regression. So, so far it's only the Pearson correlation that looks a little bit different. So now I'll do the paired sample t-test, analyze, compare means, paired samples. And I'll put ratings there, interest there, bootstrapping, select 2000, set Marcin bias, bias corrected, continue and paste. And here it looks more like the correlation. Variables, input, ratings, interest. So you'd want to be able to copy and paste this above your commands in your analysis. And the last one is going to be a one-way between subjects at NOVA. Analyze general linear model. Actually, I'll do it in compare means. One-way ANOVA. Accuracy here. Group there. I'm going to look at some post hocs. And I'm going to look at the games Howell. Continue and, and then select my bootstrapping. Bootstrap 2000. Set seed. Bias corrected. Continue and paste. And here I've got target, accuracy, input, group, and everything else looks about the same. So it looks like there are two key approaches that SPSS uses to specify bootstrapping. There's one that looks similar for correlation, the paired sample t-test. And then we've got the independent groups, ANOVA. And we also have the independent sample t-test. And we also have multiple regression. Anyway, so that's the gist of it having to put the bootstrap syntax above the analysis you want to do and making sure it's the correct bootstrap syntax. I'm going to include all of these syntax commands in the description of this video so that you can get a sense for what you need to do and you can just copy and paste that into your own syntax file.